Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to talk about the risk return profile of an investor when a cash or a margin account is used for stock purchase. To begin with, we must keep in mind that the use of margin gives rise to financial leverage. That is, since we are using debt to finance our purchase partly, that should theoretically increase our rate of return and also the commensurate risk with it. Uh, we are going to assume some numbers and make a two-fold analysis. In this column of the table, we are going to uh, look at return and risk for the investor when he or she buys some shares using a cash account. And in this column, we are going to repeat the exercise, but this time assuming that the purchase has been made by using a margin account. So let's assume a company XYZ Corporation, the current stock price for which is $100 per share and the investor wishes to buy 20 shares in this company by making a full cash purchase. Let us first of all figure out the total amount invested in the company. Since 20 shares are sought to be purchased and each share is um, priced at $100, so the amount of money invested is going to be $2,000. Now let us uh, see what happens to the percentage return of this investor if the stock price rises by $20. We know that percentage return is equal to the amount gained divided by the amount invested. So let us first of all figure out the amount gained by the investor. Since the stock price is rising by $20, on each share there is going to be a gain of $20. And since uh, there are 20 shares in question, the total amount of gain is going to be 20 times 20, that is $400. And that we are going to divide by the total amount of money invested which is two thousand dollars and that will give us a positive return of twenty percent now instead of rising if the stock price falls by twenty dollars then what is going to be our percentage return let's see um, now we are losing twenty dollars because the price of the stock is falling by twenty dollars so let's write minus twenty here and this minus twenty is going to be multiplied by all the twenty shares and then we are going to divide this by the amount of money invested in the shares and in this case it is going to give us a negative return of 20 percent now let us repeat the exercise keeping everything else the same just we are going to make one change that is this time these 20 shares are being bought on margin for that let us assume that the initial margin requirement is 40 percent that means that 40% of the total purchase price is going to be contributed by the investor. And let us uh, see what is the total amount of purchase price. 20 times 100, that is $2,000 is the total um, price for the purchase. And 40% of those um, $2,000 is going to be contributed by the investor himself or herself, that is $800. And the rest $1,200, my friends, are going to be taken out as a loan from the broker. And this loan is known as the margin loan. So since some amount has been borrowed from the broker, this is going to have to be returned at some point in time along with the interest. And the interest rate on margin loan is 10%. Let us now repeat the exercise and say what happens to uh, your percentage return when the stock price rises by $20. Now... $20 have been gained so let's write 20 and this gain is going to be applicable to all the 20 shares so let's multiply this by 20 again so that means we are gaining $400 but let's remember that some part of the purchase was financed by taking out a margin loan on which some interest is going to be payable the rate of interest my friends is 10% so let me write here 0.10 and let me multiply it by the amount of money borrowed which is $1,200 here. So let me write here $1,200 and then I'm going to close the brackets and divide it by the amount of money invested. And in this case, the amount of money invested by the investor is $800 because $800 is the sum that is coming out of investor's pocket. The rest $1,200 have been borrowed. So the amount of money personally invested by the investor is $800. So we write $800 here and carry out the calculation. In this case, it's going to give us a positive return of 35%. What you observe is that we are gaining a clear 15% extra return when we use a margin account to make the purchase. With a cash account, your return was 20%.
but with a margin account when you use um, financial leverage your return has been magnified and it goes up to 35 percent let us now see what happens to your percentage return when the stock price falls by 20 dollars so we are going to again start a bracket and inside we are going to write the amount of money we are losing since the price is falling by twenty dollars we are writing minus twenty and this minus twenty is going to be applicable to all the twenty shares so we write another twenty so that means you're you're losing um, four hundred dollars and still you have to make that interest payment of 0 0.10 times twelve hundred that is one hundred and twenty dollars and then you are going to divide it by the amount of money you are investing and if you carry out this calculation what you are going to find is that your return is going to be a negative 65 percent so if you use a margin account and if you were losing some money then your losses also would be magnified if you had used a cash account your loss was minus 20 percent but if the same purchase has been made by using a margin account then the loss is uh, pretty magnified you lose 45 percent more money so the lesson from this is that when a share is bought on a margin then both the return and risk are magnified due to use of leverage the benefit my friends of using a margin account is that it allows us to use financial leverage and that could magnify our profits if the going is good but if the going is bad it would it would also magnify our losses and also it creates an additional interest expense um, that we have to pay on our margin loan also with margin accounts there is another drawback that once your actual margin falls below the maintenance margin requirement you are due to receive a margin call and with a cash account you are never going to receive a margin call so there are some plus things and there are some minus things with each type of account here thank you very much ladies and gentlemen bye bye